Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we've got another episode of the Football Manager 2020 save with Crystal Palace. And obviously we're going to go to the Everton game. But I saw this quite interesting. We are still, technically, we can still go down. We're still in the relegation scrap, they say. We will look at that. We um, are currently 12th with 35 points. Bottom 3 consisting of Spotford with 29. West Ham 27. Newcastle 24. And we have left Evan and Tottenham who will play today. And then Aston Villa, Newcastle and Norwich. So really we probably have the best run of games after these Evan Tottenham ones. Them last three. The best like look at Southampton. They've got Evan, Chelsea, Arsenal. Liverpool, Bournemouth, Leicester. Tottenham, West Ham, Liverpool. Leicester, Watford, Wolves. Sheffield United got a decent one there to be fair. Then obviously Villa's got us, Wolves and Man City. Man United, Sheffield United and Chelsea for Watford. Norwich, Brighton, Everton, that's quite a good one for West Ham as well, to be totally honest. And then, obviously, for Newcastle, us, Man City and Tottenham. It looks like Newcastle will probably go down. I think they're going to finish bottom. But I also had my youth intake come in, if we search it. Um, there was one. Re where, where, Where's the thingy? I've already signed a few of them up. But here, this goalkeeper, Pete. Pete Pettifar. I've already played him once against Liverpool because I thought why not he looks very good naturally fit but if you play him sweeper keeper support he's technically like, his communication that could be better but obviously he's only 16 years old still reflect reflexes rushing out and throwing all 13 already handling's 15 concentration's 12 which is quite good determination is 12 already positioning's 12 just his vision and his agility and stuff which could be improved but he's still a good player and then we've got no one else after that really. This Gary Pewell, the Welsh centre back, probably end up training him to be a central defender defend. But he's not looking great. His work rate is quite good and he's naturally fit and he's quite quick really. They're the only two really that will actually make anything. But this Pete, I'll probably, he's probably going to be the keeper that I'm looking to keep for the rest of the save. But let's move on to the Everton game. Here we go, we've got the Everton game, but let's quickly look how, see how we done while we was off camera. As you can see, last two games we played was the Man City loss 3-2 and then the West Ham win 2-1. Then we played a friendly because there was like 19 days in between, so it's just, um, what was the name, Elton Palace, which is a local team, beat them 7-0. Then we lost to Southampton, but we absolutely dominated them. Can we see the stats? We can see, yeah, look at that. We've absolutely dominated them the whole game. They just defended their asses off, really, basically. And then we lost to Liverpool, which, who dominated us. So it was, it's all right. That's where I played the youngster. I thought I might as well give him a go because I knew he was going to lose. So I gave him his first start for the club. And then we got Everton and Tottenham now. But first up, we got Everton. So, all right, starting off, we got Guetta in goal with Arias at right back, Tompkins and Sacco as centre back. Ryfield at left back because Van Arnholt's not fully fit yet really. Milivojevic and MacArthur in the middle. Townsend on the right. Zaha on the left. Maya just behind the striker. And Ayu is that striker up top by himself. And on the bench we got Petifer, Joel Ward, who I was thinking of starting to be honest. Rigani, Kiate, Jude Bellingham, Piek and Roberts. To be honest, that, that eighth, we just... Hopefully people around us lose because like uh, you saw earlier on we are still Vulnerable at maybe getting relegated. I know we have to literally lose like every game and everyone has to win everything but I'd still quite like to Do it on our own terms as such So when uh, this is our best chance of winning. I think we've got a better chance of winning here than Tottenham But I'm gonna that's why I'm gonna push for the goals instead of Sitting back negative against someone like Everton. There we go, Arias Milovic plays it back to Tompkins very slowly though. Arias to Townsend. What's Townsend going to do? He's going to beat D Digne. Townsend shoots and he's just narrowly wide. Recently, I have noticed that Townsend has like been shooting a lot, lot more. And they have a free kick. They cross it in, and it looks like it's going to be a penalty. We've considered so many penalties recently. The the young striker actually saved the penalty against Liverpool, which I forgot to mention, but fair play to him. But it's Geta going to say with one against Sigerson right now. He does not. We are one nil down. Oh, let's not go on this awful run, an awful run of form at the end of the season, please. 
But here we go. Is it, was it a good penalty or was it bad? It's, it's not a good penalty at all. Yeta should do better there, really. Silly foul. Rivald throws it in for Max Meyer, who just gives it straight to Evan. But Sacco intercepts the ball from Sigerson. Milovic now. Pass it to Sacco. Sorry, that was my phone. Gieta, back to Tompkins. Plays it a right wing to Townsend. What's Townsend going to do? He's going to beat his man. He is, kind of, and he sprays it back out to Saha. Is he going to beat his man? He does it and crosses it. Townsend and he hits it over. He's got to be scoring them. That's a, a good play, but Townsend's got to score. Finish that off, really. And here we go. Highlight for Evan. Gomez, but Milivovic tackles, but they get it straight back. Gomez getting the ball again. Mina. Back to Gomez. Digne on the left. Like their left or right. Back through to Gomez. He plays it to Gabinin. I think that's how you say it. Gomez to Mina. They're being patient here. Digne gets the ball. He's going to cross it. He's got a good delivery on him. But no. Arias intercepts it. Townsend now. Why would you try that pass? But luckily MacArthur intercepts the, the header down. But Zaha just lumps it forward to Ayu. And he, oh, he gets so, so close. He probably... You know what? It come from nothing. Maybe he should have scored it, but you can't blame the kid. But oh, Maya nearly gets. Maya nearly scores. It's a good save from Pickford. Are we going to get another corner? We're going to see the corner as well. MacArthur crosses it in, and it comes from nothing. Everton gets a free kick. And Jordan Hyde gets a yellow card as well. It looks like we're coming up to half time. It looks like it's gonna, we're going to go in at half time 1 0 to Everton. Yep, 1 0 to Everton at half time. I'm going to be assertive with them. Show me something else. I just we need a goal. I'll take a draw at this point. If we're losing, I'll take a draw. Nearly at the arrow mark and Evan with thrown it. Iwobi gets it now. Back it back to Digne. Digne drives forward. No one's no one's even bothering to pressure him. Max Meyer does, but he still just walks past him. Gomez now. Also just walking past him. Gabin. Back to Gomez. Gomez sprays it out to Quintero. Is he gonna cross it? He's gonna get across in the right. Nope. Sidibe back. Oh my god, well, that is shit. I'm sorry, sorry for my language, but that is crap. That is poo. Look at this, look how easy this is. Rival's just got to tackle him there. Sadiba, they literally play a 1 2. And then uh, another one. No one even gets much tight to him. Oh my god. It's not, it's, we're going to be an hour in, and we're 2 0 down to Evan. Now, oh, six, 64 minutes in, I'm going to take Max Meyer off. He's not doing anything. He's not even being like good defensively. Deep line forward, yep. Roberts is going to be a deep line forward on support. Up front with Ayu. It's a highlight for Everton. Now Digne. He can cross it in. No, Gomez. He crosses it into Richarlison. Headed it down and then it's 3-0. That is so bad. Maybe I should have gone a bit negative. I didn't realise Everton were going to be this good. They've absolutely played us off the park. Oh, look at this. It's a... Just easy football, isn't it? Why can't we do stuff like this? Yeah, they just header it down and just slots the bottom corner. There's another highlight from the goal kick to Debe, to Sigerson, to Quintero. Straight up to Richardson, but Sacco intercepts, lovely. But Sidibe just walks past Zaha like he's not, not even there. Sigerson to Richardson, to Iwobi, to Digne, who crosses it in, I guess. No, to. Oh, oh and it's 4 0. It's 4 0. What a terrible, terrible game. It won't be as 14 goals in the season. That is rubbish. A load of rubbish, that is. Look at this. Just easy easy football again. Digne just lays it off to Gomez. Who, oh. I feel sorry for Gieta. He's tried for every shot. It was, the, it was the penalty. Once the penalty went in, the floodgates opened. What we do here? Let's, let's take some of these melts off. Zahn's just going to come off. There's no point of having him on. He's not doing anything. Actually, no, what I'm going to do. Put Bellingham there. Ball winning midfielder. Half back. Box to box. Wing back attack. Wing back attack. Just let's just go for no wingers. Mm. 
Roby. Jude Bellingham to Roberts. Ayu plays it for he plays forward to Ayu, sorry. Ayu scores. I don't know why I'm getting excited. It's 4 1. 74 minutes. Can we come back? I doubt it. But that's Ayu 16 goal a season. Bellingham knocks it down to Roberts. Plays it forward to Ayu. He beats him for pace. He shoots and it's a lovely finish in the bottom right hand corner. Milovovic crosses it in. And Jude Bellingham gets on the stray ball. And he gets tackled because he just stands there for some reason. Now Ryfield don't seem in a hurry considering we're 4-1 down to actually do anything. But Sacco plays all the way back to Gieta. 4-1 down, play it back all the way to the goalkeeper. That's alright. Milovovic now to Tompkins. Back to Milovovic to Tompkins. To Gieta. Gieta to Sacco. Sacco back to Gieta. Tompkins. Gieta. Sacco. To Ryfield. He was by himself for ages. MacArthur now. Plays back to Sacco. Calvert-Lewin intercepts though because he's been pressuring us and that's what we don't seem to do. We don't put any pressure. Look, it's 5-1. What's the point of having tactics if they don't listen? Hold on to the ball and he just passes it to anyone. Look at that. It? All it takes is one long ball over the top. And then it will be... Gieta has got to do better with that one. He's got to push that one wide. The other four, you can't fault him too much, but that one, he's got he's got to do better. And there's another highlight straight after the kickoff. Ryfield now. To Arias. Arias shoots, and it hit the post. When we've lost, to be honest with you, we have been smashed. Look, 5 1, that is appalling. I'm going to. You know, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm getting aggressive. I'm far from pleased, which I am. That's pathetic. send assistant that is bad uh, we'll just meet you straight at the Tottenham game they need to step up this time and here we go we've got a Tottenham game this uh, look at the starting lineup that I'm gonna play I'm starting Petifer in goal and then I'm gonna have Arias a right back Van Arnholt even though it says he's not fully fit I'm just gonna play him anyway and Regani and Sacco as centre backs Townsend on the right Zaha on the left MacArthur and Milovovic in the middle Maya just behind striker and Ayo up top Gieta, Joel Wall, Tompkins, Kiate, Bellingham, Van der Heide and Town um, Roberts on the bench. I'm going more negative because we conceded five. Can't be any any worse really, can it? So we might as well just sit back and hopefully we don't concede five goals. We've actually done all right against Tottenham this year and we've only lost them in a penalty shootout. There we go, I have faith in all of you. Now actually do something. Pitifer. Out to Townsend who loses the header. Surprise, surprise. Now Son. Sessignon on the ball. At He's playing left back though. La Celso. Tim Dombele. De Vertonghen. Who plays all the way back to Loris. They're just holding on to the ball here. Are you going to pressure him? He does play it, but he plays as Sanchez all right. Zaha, this both they're both pressuring now. Thank God there's actually some pressure. But Aurier's on the ball now. He drives forward. Kane, Van Arnold intercepts and just boots it away. That's what I love to see. Vertonghen on the ball now. He plays it forward to Sun. And Dombele in the middle. We're only four minutes in here. And Dombele plays it out to Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura tries to cross it in. No, oh, Aurier does. No, Lucas Moura, Aurier crosses it in. Sun, goal. Five minutes in, that's the first goal in like normal time we've conceded to Tottenham this year. It's just so easy again, look at that. Arias should not be beaten in the air that easily there. We drop down to 13th now, Lo Celso, cross it in. Oh, and another penalty. Three, three games in a row we've conceded a penalty. And it's from the exact same like situation. Can Pettifer save this one? He saved one in against Liverpool. He gets close. He goes the right way. Only 16, the kid. You can't blame him. Eight minutes in, 2-0 down. Harry Kane steps up, and it is a good penalty. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go. We're going to change the tactics already. 2-0 down. You've got... Might as well push for it now at this point, don't we, really? Let's just swap them both around. Can't bother to do it the other way. 
And it's another highlight for Tottenham. Lo Celso is going to cross it in. Is it going to be another penalty? No, it's a save though. Pettiford with a great save. If I'm not pronouncing that right, leave in the comments down below. You actually do pronounce it, please. Lo Celso crosses it in. Maya collects a loose ball. Is he going to play it down the line? No, he just boots it away when he could have just played it down to Ayu. Maya out of the Townsend. Townsend, what's he going to do here against his former club? He beats one, he beats two, he shoots, he scores. Yes, thank God, thank God, thank God. He finally scores one. He's only scored two goals this year. That is appalling for an attacking player. But look at that, he, from his own half, he collects it just about. Beats one like they're not there. Beats two, shifts it onto his stronger left foot, and he puts it bottom left corner. Great finish, great goal. Looks like might go in a half time with a 2 1 deficit. Two minutes added on. Anything going to happen in that two minutes? Doesn't look like it. We're going half time 2 0 down. Let's go. I'm happy with the performance. Keep it up. Look, let's just motivate him a little bit because I am happy with the performance. When we don't seem to be doing bad, but then they get highlights straight away. It's a goal watch. No, it's off the line though. Kane scores. Scores. <sighs> what else can I do? What else can I do? I've motivated him. It happens every time. If there's a highlight just after half time for the other team, they will score it. Look at that. Off the line from Zaha. Follies it. Bottom corner. If Tongan's actually blocking the sight of our keeper there. Some flicks on to no one, but Seko collects it to Townsend. What's Townsend going to do it? He plays it down to Milivovic. Plays it out wide to Arias. He's got seven assists so far this year. Cross it in. Are you? He hits the post. Was it the post? Or the I think it was the crossbar, actually. Sorry. He hits the woodwork, whatever. And we foul him. They get a free kick. Oh, if that goes in, then we're in such a good chance to try and nick a draw or something. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to take Meyer off. It ain't worked the last couple of games. I'm just going to take Ayuk straight off. I'm going to take Zaha off as well. Neither of them have done anything. Up an hour in, I've took two players off. The Celso across it in. Goal. 4-1. It was 2-1 at half-time. Didn't look that bad. Now 4-1 looks like an absolute tr like destruction. We lost 5-1 in the last game. Now it's going to be 4-1. It's such a... Why is Van Arnold not getting in front of his man there? 70 minutes in. Let's make, I'm going to make the final sub. Uh, let's bring on Jude Bellingham. Might as well bring on the, another 16-year-old. Maybe I shouldn't have started the, the young keeper ring net, but... Kieta just annoyed me from Casilla 5. <laughs> I know I was saying it wasn't really his fault, it's just, it's just annoying though, isn't it? What's this? A free kick for Tottenham? He's going to score it, watch. Harry Wink's going to cross it in, they're going to score it. And they do get quite close. 87th minute now, 88, 89, 94 minutes added on. Is anything going to happen? We're not going to score three goals in four minutes though, anyway. Highlight for Tottenham, 5 1. going to be 5 1? No, but it, it could have easily have been. And it, throwing for us and he's going to blow the whistle the ref once we throw it in really nothing's going to happen from this Van Arnold throws it into Bellingham is he going to cross it nope just get tackled just stands there Sanchez now has the ball Loris and it finishes 4-1 4-1 is harsh that is very very harsh um, despite the result oh my god got, you've played well though I'm not happy with your defensive work then I'm not happy with that yeah, fuck you all. You know what? I was going to keep this a secret, but we had a team meeting before this match because I thought oh, I was living spirits and it was all fine. And then they go and lose 4 1. What are you supposed to do? What What else can I do? <sighs> Let's look next. Who we got next? Well, we've got Everton, Newcastle, and Norwich. I might just have to play. We'll do a triple header, you know. I'll just be. Next episode, I'll be back with all three of them games because. They're all must wins, really. Especially this Aston Villa and these Newcastle ones. They're the two we're battling for relegation. Norwich, they're clear of going through. So, yeah, I'm going to come back with all three of them games ready to play. But thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. And I'll see you all later.